We have to send our sympathies and condolences to the family of Marcus Yosta. Yes. A very polarizing figure in the world because of uh, what happened with Steinoff. You know, yes. founded by Bruno Steinoff. And I have to say, uh, outside of this, I still don't believe that Bruno Steinoff and Christo Visa, who was a big shareholder, I, I don't believe that they were not fully aware of everything that was happening. But that's a conversation for another day. Just sympathies and condolences. I happened to be in Armanus last week in the Western Cape for a Biz News conference hosted by um, Alec Hogg, the founder of Biz News. Um, and it was there I found out that Marcus Yost actually lives in the town. A beautiful, beautiful town in the Western Cape. So happened that Christo Visa also came to speak at the conference <laughs> and he was asked about Steinoff. As the FCSA comes and says, Marcus Yost is going to have to pay 475 million rand in a penalty. And he's agreed to hand himself over to the Hawks. Apparently he was taking a walk, um, decided to end his life. Said it's suicide. A lot of people on social media because of Tabo Pesta. Um, the story of Gavin Watson with Posasta, they they don't believe. They're like, nah, this is we want to see the body, etc. But the human element is is always going to be important for those of us who understand. Marcus Yoster is a polarizing figure because of what happened. But we must remember that he created a lot of wealth for a lot of people. 